The year is 2050. You clasp your gaming mouse but instantly feel a jolt of pain going up your arm. You cry, I wish I bought a more ergonomic gaming mouse. You weep as you turn off your PC and continue your 5000 piece Fortnite 2 jigsaw puzzle. But what could be a more ergonomic option? Vertical gaming mice. Let's start with the theory. Vertical gaming mice are a lot more ergonomic than standard mice as they put a lot less strain on your wrist and your hand by keeping it in a natural handshake position. They're great for people that suffer from RSI, carpal tunnel or anyone that's also a bit conscious of the effects of playing video games on PC every day for 30 plus years. And if you're not conscious of this, maybe you should be. Using this diagram that I didn't draw, you can see how the arm is in a more natural position when using a vertical gaming mouse compared to a regular one without any stretching or twisting of the arm. Even though you might not feel any pain or discomfort when you're currently fragging, the fact that your arm is in an unnatural position for extended periods of time could be causing real damage. So there's definitely some potential benefits to be had from using a vertical gaming mouse, but could they be suitable for hardcore extreme gaming? I'll be honest, I had my doubts, but I was willing to be surprised. Bro, you're so mother good old this is the Trust Rex GXT144. Now already this mouse means business as there's three X's in the name. And the GXT144 makes it sound like a car, but it's not. It's a plastic gaming mouse. But how does this compare to a regular gaming mouse? Well, this looks like a chunky boy and it is. The height of this is around 72 millimeters. To put that into perspective, here it is next to Mount Everest and next to the G Pro X Superlight. The width is 76 millimeters at the base, which is only really around 10 millimeters longer than some regular mice. The length is 100 millimeters at the base of the mouse and it weighs a reasonable 98 grams about the cable, which is actually lighter than some gaming mice, but it's certainly heavier than many leading options like the aforementioned Logitech G Pro X Superlight that weighs just under 63 grams. In terms of more detailed specifications, there isn't much to go by because they're just not supplied. It's got six programmable buttons, the regular mouse one and two, a scroll wheel, side buttons, and a DPI button. It's got an optical sensor and has a maximum DPI of 10,000, which is more than enough. It supports up to 1000 Hz polling rate, which is the same as you find on the leading gaming mice on the market. It doesn't have the best sensor. It's acceptable in game I've never had issues with it skipping or spinning out. In terms of more scientific numbers, graphs and spreadsheets, this just won't be near the top. On the underside of the mouse you get four plastic feet, which won't be as smooth as PTFE that you find on most gaming mice. There's a distinct lack of smooth and consistent glide with these kinds of feet. Those that are using soft pads will really notice a bit more drag than normal. The cable is braided. It's not as light as a paragorded cable that you would see in many premium gaming mice, but it is better than plastic. This cable is a bit stiff, so I think think a bungee is definitely required. There is some software as well which is standard. You can change your DPI profiles, the colours, polling rate. It's laid out simple enough, it just looks like it was made in 2002. So how does this vertical mouse fare in a competitive gaming environment? Firstly, the mouse is pretty comfortable. The ergonomic shape does have some benefits in that regard with my wrist feeling good. I have had a bit of minor stiffness in my hand recently from using some less friendly mouse shapes, and this hasn't caused any irritation at all. The shape and hand placement doesn't really cause any issues with aiming or movement is just the same as using a regular mouse. If you're unsure yourself then take your current mouse and angle it by 45 degrees. It's literally the same almost. Using the main buttons has been easy as well as using the scroll wheel which I use to jump in game and strafe jump. Side buttons are also a bit further away but don't require me to adjust my grip to reach them. There is also potential to use different grip types with a variation of the claw and fingertip grip being usable as well. There has been maybe one noticeable issue though with the vertical design. The mouse really struggles with weight distribution. When moving the mouse to the left side there's a slight chance of the mouse tilting which isn't really something that I've ever had a problem with in a standard mouse design. Granted this isn't something that regularly came up as a problem in game for me, however out of game there have been a few occasions where the mouse has tilted to the side and it is something that I feel I've been aware of when doing a 360 no scope headshot off the top shelf. Using it in-game has been surprisingly great, despite it not having the greatest hardware, it has actually been impressive. The biggest downside has been the plastic feet, which just haven't felt good. But there is always the option of putting some PTFE feet onto it, if you can find some that fit, to give it a bit more of a smoother glide on the mouse pad. So what do I think of vertical gaming mice? I'm impressed. There's definitely a benefit to a mouse design like this. The comfort is just unrivaled. Honestly, in-game, even though it's not a high-performance gaming mouse and full shorts in some areas, I've actually enjoyed using it. 
it. I can see that in manufacturing this there will be an issue with getting the weight right as well as a problem with the top heaviness that comes with having your hand placed at such an angle. This is probably why we haven't seen major companies come out with more polished and high performance versions of these. This mouse is actually pretty good so I can honestly recommend it if you've ever considered looking for a more comfortable mouse for day to day computer use and for gaming. If you really need something more ergonomic whilst gaming then I say that this is a fine vertical mouse for playing video games with. Especially if you're going to be playing games that aren't intense first person shooter games, anything that's a bit more relaxed or not needing the fast paced mouse movements. When searching for something like this I'll be honest you're not really presented with the most inviting looking products to choose from so this could have fallen flat pretty easily. Luckily though this is a good product that probably deserves a bit more attention. There are more alternatives which are a bit pricier from Logitech and others but they don't have gaming in their name. Will we see more vertical gaming mice in the future? In a few years there's going to be a market flooded with 50 year old gamers that just want to play video games without searing pain. I'll be one of them so I can definitely see this being the case. If you're looking for a comfortable gaming mouse that isn't vertical I've linked a video on screen that you should watch next.